To study the properties of color, we have to understand what it is. It's a theory built on the signs of wavelengths, and the wavelengths is the speed at which it vibrates, from fast to slow. This study can be complex, but I've broken it up in four chapters to make it easy. Then we'll go straight to the advanced prismatic color wheel. We all know the chromatic color wheel, which I showed you earlier, and you can find it in most art books. Let us look at nature to help us study color. We look at all things through a curtain of air. The atmosphere, this atmosphere is a thick mixture of gases, so thick it keeps heavy aircraft up in the sky. When we look at distant mountains, we see them through this veil of air. And the further the mountains, more air blurs our vision. So much so that the mountain disappears. Tunnel values is the lightness or darkness of all things that light shines on. A totally colorblind bird, like an owl, will see no color at all. He will see everything in a grayscale. I want you to see this landscape in a grayscale. You must understand, first of all, what to practice. Now look at this landscape and the tonal scale, compare it, and you'll see that the distant hills are much lighter than the middle ground, and the foreground is very dark. This is what I'm trying to tell you, and this is what you should practice. The important part here is that your sketch or black and white painting must be a convincing picture in three dimension and full perspective, close or far away. This practice is very important and cannot be skipped. The prismatic color wheel has only transparent colors for primaries. Cadmium yellow pale or lemon yellow. Viridian green, also called phthalo green. Then French ultramarine blue, a very new color in the history of oil paints. Alizarin crimson is about the most transparent of all. It has one of the highest oil saturations and lovely to glaze with. Then cadmium a red light, which is not always that available. You can use vermilion in its place. These five colors are still divided in three sections or groups, like the chromatic color wheel. And you can still mix secondaries and of course has the same principles of opposite complementaries. Now let us look at some of the lovely earth colors and how they are made from the prismatic color wheel. When any primary is mixed with its complementary, which is the direct opposite on the wheel, it reduces its intensity and commercially given a new name. Let's look at yellow first and mix it lightly with its direct opposite mauve and there we have it, yellow ochre. Amazing! You have now made a yellow ochre. And when you add more mauve, you get a raw sienna. And even more mauve puts it right in the center of the color wheel, which is raw amber and neutral gray. Now if you add more mauve past this point, it changes identity to mauve not an ochre as before. Now you can buy the full DVD or download it from andrechrobler.co.cc I've been using transparent colors all my life as you will see in my paintings. This was a long-standing secret until I retired and now I share the secret with you. Thank you.